What's up guys, this is The Rifeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the, as France. I forgot for a second there. Um, so to round off what happened in the last part, um, I attacked this Savoyan raiding force that annoyingly retreated back because so they're probably going to break my college. And then I also successfully um, defeated the French, the, uh, the British intercept in Quebec, in um, northern Canada, nor North America, and pushed them back and captured Quebec. So this force's next job will be to... Ultimately, it'll probably be to recapture Montreal from this force, or I might split it in half. Have one force to pick Montreal, one force take Falmouth, and then try to form a new form, bring war troops down from Quebec to land in Boston. Because if I can break the British monopoly in North America, then that will mean lots and lots and lots of money for the French Empire, and less than money for the British Empire, which is always a good thing. Yeah, it's always going to happen. Let them have it. At least they might spend some money on it. More so, more money than I can afford to spend right now. The allied with Austria, the traitorous dogs. Spain could do with Spain being a very could do with Spain being a useful ally right now. Which they are kind of doing. Oh yeah, the Prussians have not moved on Berlin. Um I'm just waiting to see if they move out to attack me, which they're not. I'm not in a rush to capture Berlin, and I think... No, if I capture Berlin, that's not the end of Prussia. Um, but once I do capture it, I will try to sue or pursue peace with the Prussians. Maybe even try to get them to be my protectorate, which would be quite interesting. I doubt it'd work, because the AI doesn't really do protectorates, unless it's really weird ones like, you know, the Ottomans becoming the protectorate of Dagestan or Persia. You know, this game can be weird in a whole bunch of ways, but in order to love it, you've got to kind of accept it. Kidoki, so Sweden's in the med, standard. They're piracy, pirating in the med. Not got around to sick, uh, to create to um. Aha! So the the Savoyans are attacking me probably because if they stay inside anymore, then they will die. Right. So let's fight them on the battlefield. If I can take out Savoy, that'd be my southern flank secure. Garrison in Savoy. I don't want to attack Genoa yet. Um, I'd like to put a garrison in Savoy. It's from Italy that will want to move up against me. But I'd like to take a bunch of that army and bring them over to North America and start landing and taking some British colonies. Maybe even look to land and direct... Oh, no. I'd hop from island to island, take the take the Caribbean. Caribbean hold, like, take Jamaica, give it to the Mughals so that I can... Um, get trade agreement with them, so I'll probably earn more money with the Mughals by letting them have that territory than that territory alone will provide. Might even be able to ally with them. That would be super useful. Not great terrain, but standard drill mortars. Got these Swiss pikes behind. To be honest, I'm more worried about their their cavalry than their uh, troops, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, let's get this elite unit of Royal Su Royal Su Suédois, I guess. Let's get them and them. Oh no, sorry, not yet. Yeah, it's not a great field of fire for this artillery, but manageable. They're deployed, they're not. Good. General here. Cavalry's gonna go on the left in the trees. Good. Then my demi cannons are open will open fire. Those are what I do not want firing. Could you imagine all of these firing? Holy moly. Artillery's still trying to engage them, though. Let's speed up time a minute. It isn't. I do not think it's going to be clear that anything's going to be happening. Let's get my guns attack. These guns to attack this unit of cavalry to maybe be able to inflict some actual damage. Oh, 
Seven pounder regiment of the line. There we go, and here come all their gunners. Excellent. It's quite an elite force, actually. The 4th Regiment of Foot and the 9th Regiment of Foot have become very, very elite. Four units of experience. Four lines, rows of... Four chevrons of experience, which make them... Well, they have higher morale. They have more defence. Their accuracy's gone up and their reloading skill's gone up. So I'm hoping, I'm interested to see if... Can you get a unit which, if it, when it learns to fire by rank, because normally the first rank, second rank, third rank fires, then there's a lull, then the first rank fires again. So I'm wondering if an elite unit can actually do, you know, first rank fires, second rank fires, third rank fires, and then the first rank's ready to go instantly. That would be quite an interesting test. Spread them out. And then let's spread out my pikes. Get my guns to engage their artillerymen, because I, I don't want to lose them to a annoying easy charge like that again. But they should be about to get engaged by... Oh, I saw that flash of red take him out. There we go. So 17 garrison mortarmen. Good. Canister shots. You fire at that angle because you can inflate fire and get more casualties. Oh, that was devastating. Good. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Excellent. Turn the canister onto that unit of line, even though they're routing. Of lines being engaged and is already wavering. Oh, that's a beautiful standard. He's keen. He doesn't care. The order was to halt. Yeah, they're trying to charge up. Way to fire is too much. She is fairly elite, three chevrons. What about these guys? Let's barrel them in. Provincial cavalry, general's bodyguard. Form square, get my cavalry over here, rapido. I know me needed. Yeah, get them in. Get this unit of cavalry in. Spear into this unit of provincial cav. Charging through the trees isn't good. 87 versus 90. Let's 
get rid of the unit of cavalry out here. Getting utterly smashed, but I need to want to protect my lances. Good. Both of you smash into this unit of garrison line as they're still vulnerable. There you go, they're trying to reform their centre, but it's not going to work. Keep my lances rolling. Charge my lance into this regiment of horse. All my artillery round shot the same unit so I don't kill all my cavalry. If they break, I'm going to retreat my lances out of there. There you go. Charge them into that yeah, regiment of the line. Good, unit destroyed, so they're going to trot around here to position themselves for any units that start to retreat, like this unit. They're not going to make it. Smash into that unit of line. Wavering is standard. Come on, Lancers, get in there. Then when I go after those, I go after them. Then when they're gone, they all have routed too. Artillery just keep trying to snipe their general now. It's my general. Let's get my general involved. I thought I told them to attack you. No, you hold fire. You have to go for... No, you do go for them. And you go for... them when they route. Because they'll route imminently.
need to leg it past those guns, boys. There we go. Oh, will they get them before they route? Yes, they will get them. Get my lances to go after them because they're probably much more knackered. Yeah, they're very tired and close to the border. These guys are more numerous, so I can send them out to go after a unit like that. Okay, let's put speed up because it's become a bit more of a clean up now. Two, one, chop. Send the general on. Hit them. Look at them, they're just getting chopped up as they retreat. Continue. Halt. Halt all of my artillery. There you go, general went up a chevron point. Extremely, well, f <laughs> four chevron cheval leger. I'm not sure what, I can't find out what the bonus is. What about the bonus for pikes? So this is their tier one. Tier two? They get a slight buff to their attack and a slight buff to their defense per, per, per chevron. Everyone's on to this last unit of this last unit of line infantry. Three, two, one. Decisive victory for the French Empire. It's only five hundred remain. This could be the end of the Savoy Empire. Yeah, they're getting a few little jabs in, but that's okay. Yeah, we are re rebalancing to attack down to the south to finish off Louisiana, but it's okay. I will have my territory in the end. Pueblo Nations, Corwin, Barbary States, peace. Yeah, go on. Always accept peace. That means when they trade, when they read everyone's territory, they leave yours alone. It has not yet been developed. Okay, first. Region lost was Upper Canada. Enemy raid was the Loire Vineyards. But after that battle, it should be a simple case of bloop. And then that force is gone because Savoy has been defeated. Let's repair, 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 repair. And repair. So diplomacy, Genoa. Small nation, but we are unfriendly. Ally with Spain. So request trade, request alliance. Yeah, I'll give you two grand. You want three grand? Okay. Solidifying my friends in the middle in the um the Mediterranean is always good and it's earning me lots more money. Let's fix this. Still laying siege to Berlin. Okay, let's upgrade. 
Mm, low yield farm? I don't think so. Not just yet. What can you build? Naval board. Oh, let's get marines and compagnie franche de la marine. Cool. First. Hold on, I forgot about this. So let's go down here, fix the royal palace, and replenish the troops. Then let's get up to Canada. Oh yeah, forgot all these. These all need investment. Average yield gold mine. Abundant yield gold mine. 27 hundo. One turn it earns me that back. Well, I don't think so actually. It earns it's that much it adds that much to region wealth, which is then taxed. So not directly, but holy moly, it's a lot of money. Let's just replenish that army, actually. They could do with a bit of beefing up. Up here in Canada, they're all still being retrained. Cool. Okay. Move down and capture Montreal. Threaten Falmouth. Probably have to take out John Churchill's stack while he's floating around. Steady under fire. Camille. Awesome. Okay, let's send you over to send you over to Kerningsberg. Infiltrate Kerningsberg. Don't worry about my friends just yet. I'm allied with Genoa, I'm allied with Spain, so it'd be quite a big AI snafu for that to suddenly all go to pot. Let's try again with the Moogles. Open. Request peace. Request trade. Russia. Request peace. Nope. Peace with the check. Now, oh, damn. I was hoping I'd get peace and I could just focus on the British, but I'll take what I can get. Okay, let's hit. Oh, they had to knacker the one tech it was reset. <laughs> My one college that I had critical research to be done. Okay, there goes Britain. Britain is at war with the Cherokee, which is handy. They're strengthening the hold in Montreal. Good old Spain. Oh, see, why is it so level? Okay, let's fight it. I'm fairly sure this will mean I capture Berlin. It'd be quite a nice little money sink. But again, I don't think Berlin. It's going to university, which I'll destroy and make into an industrial building. But it's a bit of a pokey outy bit of the empire, because I've got Austria. Austria to the south, which I don't. which I'm allied with for now. Um, but I suppose it means we might pop the Prussians out. If I capture Berlin, I'll see if I can um, to the north, which I'd like to have dealt with. Okay, nothing clever because they've got nothing. The only reason I'm fighting it is because the auto resolve wants to screw me over. Here. Because, yeah, they've got some infantry, handful of mortars, and they all pack it in. Provincial militia, garrison militia, fire like armed citizenry. It's nothing. Oh no, they haven't dropped the mortars. 
Don't do it. Let's see if that provokes their fire. Idle. Okay. Let's hold fire with these units till these moors get within range. Get close within range. See if we can knock them out with one volley. Oh, they're very hardy. Only 10. 10 out of 18. So they're advancing rapidly. It's a good thing to do. And just put... Yeah, then it's just canister shot all the way. I'm not sure what they're doing. Hopefully they'll retreat once... Hopefully they'll retreat once they lose the battle on battle on the field. Canister on that unit of fire lock on citizenry. Only one kill though. Just speed this up actually, it's just a bit <laughs> just a bit pointless. Have them try to target the general, I suppose. If they even will. Apparently not. Let's put a hole in the wall. I'm citizenry have managed to come back. For now. See, so are they really going to make me force me to actually charge and assault the assault the walls? Clever AI. Unless. I try a bit of a gamble here. I don't remember. I don't know who this general is, and I don't know if he's important or not. But if I knock a hole in the wall, I can just charge him in. <laughs> so let's see if I can do that. Quickly bash a hole down. Charge my general in. Take out the guns. Bish, bash, bosh. No dramas. At least that's the hope. <laughs> we all know my general is going to get slaughtered. It's an easier way of not losing an, an annoying amount of troops to quick climb. Well, will they have quick climb shells? Probably not. But just the regular round shots is devastating. God, I hate those more. And they never, they never like that. Super brilliant for me. It's all a swizz, all of it. Right. No, nope, that door's open. Okay, so halt. Ah. That's the end of that. <laughs> Literally. Oh, don't worry. God, this game. I do love it. I love it so, but. Holy Moses, sometimes the AI just doesn't think. Take that, Sir Gregor. 
Burning isn't mine yet. If I take, yeah, if I take Berlin, I'll try and make peace with the Prussians. If I can't make peace with the Prussians, then I'll, I'll offer to, I'll offer to give them back Berlin to be my protectorate. They'll say no, but. Even though it's a natural fit, because I'm, they're allied with Austria and Spain. I am allied with Austria and Spain. It feels like a natural fit, but am I bothered? That's the question. Not really. Not by not with allies. Oh, Trevor, I'm already at war with everyone. So allies, when you're already at war, allies are, alliances are a bit pointless. What I am liking though is this. British Iroquois War. What the hell is that? Sounds like one of those War of the Worlds tripods. Oh, I saw that. Hopefully, that means George is not Georgia. Genoa. I think. Do you think it was Genoa? Um, hopefully, they're sailing south. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Done. Select the type of Fine. Port. Jesus. They really want me to upgrade this port. Granted, ports have lots of tasty benefits. Cool. So you're ready to rock and roll. In the butt on the back burner. Get this army on the go. And move out, lay siege to Montreal for now. Not, don't upgrade any of those yet. Mm. More tax is always nice. These sorts of areas are quite handy. Oh, very poor workshop. Very poor. There you go. Before I do that, let's upgrade my empire's trade income. First ports. Oh, just the one. <laughs> just the one port. Right, Martinique's losing money. Good. Bit more money into replenishing. Don't borrow about the navy. Go look at the Cherokee. Some nice full stacks, but by the time I have to worry about them, I'll have all of my tasty advanced tech. Average yield farm. Yeah, let's do that then. Let's upgrade another this farm up here again. You, I would be very tempted to drop off Ceylon because Ceylon's always super handy to take. Gives me an, a foothold in the the Indian region. And let's have another try at request peace, request trade, and I'll give you these two navy techs. Oh no, I'm not no. Not giving you Alsace Lorraine. Will I give you Antigua? Because trade, where's trade? And there's Venice, Denmark, Russia, and Iroquois. Hmm. I don't know how you're feeling. Clamour for reform is going up. Bridge some rest isn't down yet, but it should be. Upgrade to a pleasure gardens. Swiss mountain Jaegers, that's pretty good. Oh, Swiss Grens, I fought them in other campaigns. Cool, but anyway, looking at the, the timer, I think I've reached the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.